The goal of our research project is to program a robot to perform a surgical procedure called a mastoidectomy. In this procedure, the bone behind the ear, under which a sinus cavity is located, is excavated by a surgical drill. When this is performed by a human being, it is done blindly. A new technology, image-guided surgery, allows one to superimpose a pre-intervention x-ray on the surgical specimen, thereby allowing x-ray vision. To do that, one must attach fiducial markers to the patient's body before acquiring CT images. These markers can be localized both on the CT scan and the patient. Recent technological advances have allowed CT scanners to be miniaturized and made mobile so they can be used in the operating room. These devices, which are the size of a small refrigerator, are wheeled to the front of the patient's bed and rotated around the anatomy of interest, in our case, the head. After aligning CT scans with surgical anatomy, the intended trajectory or path of the drill, as controlled by the robot, can be specified on the scan. In the operating room, the robot is positioned next to the patient. Tracking system overlooks the surgery. It tracks both the position of the robot and the position of the patient. For this purpose, frames with trackable spheres are attached to the parts of the robot and to the patient. In our case, the frame is attached to the teeth of the patient. The robot then executes the path specified on the CT scan, which is now duplicated on the patient after registration of the CT scan to the patient. Note that when the patient moves, the image tracking system tracks both the patient and the robot and corrects the motion of the robot to achieve the intended trajectory. Once milling or excavation of the bone is completed, the robot is moved away from the patient. The theoretical advantages of having a robot perform this procedure are to improve accuracy and efficiency.